took a week off. I heard also Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, um, which is Ryan Reynolds' cell phone company, um, is was being bought out by another phone company. So you might have lost that sponsorship. And then he was like downsizing the John Campy show that just John. And, and occasionally Robert and uh what's that other lady's name? I for Chris Aaron. Carr. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so let's see what their announcement is. Maybe they got a great new sponsor and they're building it back up. I just think movie talk can never be what it once was, even with John. And the bigger you build up, it's only temporary. Like all these sponsorships and additional stuff. I, I think you always got to fluctuate. Uh, but let's see what he has to say. He looks happy in this video. So maybe a sponsorship came through. All right, let's see what this is. Because he's been getting a lot of criticism lately. Because everyone's like, oh, we need more. We need a Robert Meyer Burnett. And he's like, well, we've kind of had to. He, he, he was, there was a clip of him saying that uh, some of the shows in the afternoon were costing him more money than they were making. You know, and I think with the way he runs a business, he's profitable enough that he actually pays. Unfortunately, I'm not in that situation with 14 viewers. <laughs> uh, the best I could do is provide StreamYard access to some of my friends and to send some equipment. But he's in a whole other league than I am, you know. But he's, he actually pays for those afternoon shows with Robert Meyer Burnett and Chris Carr. And they weren't, I think they weren't, they weren't getting the engagement that he was looking for to justify the cost. So let's see what he has to say here. Still on vacation, but I decided to come into my office here to make this uh, a little announcement about the immediate, some immediate things that are going to be happening on the John Campia YouTube channel, but specifically as it pertains to the one and the only Mr. Robert Meyer Burnett. Uh, now, before we give that announcement, I want to give you a little bit of background and context. You know, Rob reminded me the other day that this April, uh, this, this coming month, marks eight years uh, since Rob and I started streaming together as so, you know, when uh, the late great John Schnepp brought Rob on that they are, they have, they, they are like, they are like uh, the YouTube version of like Cisco and Ebert. I think a little bit. I, I know people like side. I like John better. I like, I like Robert better, but that's a good, you know, that's a good dynamic, right? Brian. Yeah, that's, no, that's like what you're their, looking for. They're, they're back and forth. It's it's pretty good. It's really good. Yeah, so I do think they have something there. Uh, Daniel says, Max, at least let your panels talk. Can't be a never lets our, our... Yeah, he, he makes them wait for a while. Okay, all right. To uh, uh, Heroes, and we started streaming together then. And it's it's been eight years, which is kind of crazy. Now, obviously, then I left Collider. And a while, sometime after I left Collider, Collider uh, treated Rob pretty mis uh, pretty badly. And, and, you know, it led to a circumstance where, you know, he and I talked and decided that it would be a really good idea for him to start streaming with me instead. So this is sometime after I had already started my YouTube channel and stuff like that. And so Rob came over and, and started streaming with me on my John Campia show on a, on a very, very part-time basis. Uh, and we did that for quite a while, actually, until about maybe about a year and a half ago some of you guys will remember rob was actually had left the channel for three to four months because we had started doing the show in person again but at that point rob and i lived pretty far apart and he didn't really want to make the drive every day which is totally understandable so so what i don't understand is i i want um i want them to succeed i'm rooting for them but he he, he keeps building these big studios that don't work out every time he tries just keep with what's working because people like people. He gets the relatively same amount of engagement and views when he's in his room, you know, instead of a big, a big, uh, a big studio. And there's a lot of costs associated with that. So I just don't think movie talk could substantiate, substantiate that type of expense anymore because there's so much competition. It's oversaturated. Like Brian, if this channel ever took off, I would. I don't think I'd get to the unless you wanted to move move next because we're brothers or you had an opportunity here for a job other than YouTube. I would never say you need to be in the same room as me. Like, there's no point in the age of the internet. Like no. Gamers are doing. But I mean, I could yeah. sell auto parts anywhere. So 
Right. I mean, you could move near me, but uh, it's not legal here yet. So we'll wait and see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. There's not That'd be disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but, yeah, CG, C- oh, it is. Well, CGH, if if MME takes off, I'm not going to tell you to move. You know, I'm not going to tell you to to relocate for a big studio. I'm like, like, stay where you're at. Let's just do more content. That's it. Yeah. It's not worth. It's not worth. I don't think it's substantial. I don't think there's enough. There's not enough growth to substantiate investing this much into something that you could do remotely in this day and age. And that goes for a lot of jobs right now. Since the pandemic, people have been doing a lot remotely and it works like maybe up the quality of your camera, your mic or the background and things like that. But what are you you trying to say? I'm saying in general, I'm not joking. I'm not saying anyone specifically. I'm saying those are the type of costs. And even like Brian, I sent him a camera. I've sent people mics, things like that. That's justified. That helps. Buying it, get, getting an actual studio for the MME, I don't think would ever happen. And I don't ever want to put that risk on myself because then you put risk of the failing. You know, it's too much risk. Okay. So for about three or four months, Rob was off the show. And that brought us into like 2022 and in early 2022 Ram and I sat down we thought you know what maybe there's some other things we can do I've, I've got some things I want to try and blah and maybe we try instead of you just coming back on the show on, on a smaller part-time basis just doing the John Campus show we do it kind of more of on a full-time basis where we have these other things for you to do and we, we list all these things we could try and we knew it wouldn't necessarily work out but we wanted to try it so for the last year or so uh, Rob has been working pretty much full time. I mean, he's an independent contractor, but pretty much on a full time basis, working with us here. Now, unfortunately, you know a lot of the other things that we were going to do, some of them didn't materialize for one reason or another. Certain things didn't work out, and you know our afternoon shows were just, you know, they were costing more to make than they were actually making for the channel, and so it just got to the point. Now, people didn't like that he said that, but I think that's the reality. If he keeps doing, if he had pays for a studio. And the extra shows aren't aren't getting the, sh- the views as the main show. He can't continue. But I, I just think he keeps going back to the same thing. Remember when he, a couple of years ago, he went to a studio that was shared with another show and that didn't work out. Just stick with it. I mean, stick with, stick in your room. People like it. Just, to, just do your camera pans, your multiple camera angles. And go with it. Make it easier on... Robert, just to remotely tap in and do that. I, that's what I think. Where it didn't make sense. And I had sat down with the staff like about a month and a half ago and kind of went through the numbers. And from a business point of view, it just didn't make sense anymore for Rob to be full time and thought about him just going back to just doing the John Campus show. Well, whereas it didn't really make a lot of business sense anymore for uh, through no, no fault of Rob's or anything like that, but it didn't really make business sense for Rob to be on full time anymore. For Rob, it didn't really make sense to be part-time anymore. Okay. So Rob and I sat down in this very office a couple of times, and we started strategizing and trying to think of things that we could do or things that we could try. And some of them weren't very feasible, and some of them we had tried before, whatever. But as we were talking, the notion— Oh, I will take him on his word that he he offered the opportunity to Robert Biner Burnett to be part-time. But he, he's, he has his own channel. He's doing lots of content. He gets around a lot more than Campia does. I, I will tell you, that's the strength of Robert Meyer Burnett. He collaborates with a lot of people, right? Yeah. So, um, he, if it, I, I'll take him on his word that he he he's like, well, the part time doesn't make sense for me either. Okay, maybe Robert Meyer, maybe Robert Meyer Burnett will start to strive more on his own, you know, because he already has that built in fan base too. He has great communication skills with other people. He does. He is friends with people. I don't necessarily like their opinions. I don't like the way they go about things, but that doesn't make him bad. Doesn't make Robert Meyer Brett bad, right? Um, all right. So let's see where this I, I thought they were see the image here, the thumbnail. Let me made it look like Robert. This is why I clicked it because Robert Meyer Burnett is in the thumbnail. I was like, oh no, they're announcing that they're back together, you know. That I was really kind of misled by the thumbnail. Do you see what I mean? I don't think that was his intention. But I thought he joined him in on this video. Do you see what I mean, Brian? Yeah, I do. I'm like, oh, people, this is why I clicked on the video. I was like, 
oh, he's got a great new announcement with Robert Meyer Burnett, but now I'm concerned that they're still going to... But that could be a good opportunity for Robert. That could be a good opportunity for John, too, because he does, he has stressed that he wants to retire in a couple of years. You can't be building up, building up if your goal is going to retire. you got to streamline. <clears throat> Mention of Rob's observations <clears throat> kept coming up. Because back when he left the channel for those three to four months... Rob went and really focused on his channel, Rob Observations, and he was doing some incredible things with it, like things that were really servicing the online community that you weren't really finding in other channels yeah. anywhere. Like when he was doing things like at the time he was doing like Midnight Metal and, and like he had uh, Let's Get Physical Media, right? And all like just that kind of content that you don't find online and you know he was really pouring a lot of himself into that full time and, and he was really doing some really neat and interesting things and i have always talked about on my channel about how nothing beats building your own thing and mm. nothing beats working for yourself i've preached that gospel a lot okay and so as Rob's observations started to come up we started talking about well what about the possibilities of Rob's observations and so What's going to happen now uh -oh. is that moving forward, and we are both very excited about this. Oh, uh, Rob oh, is going to continue to pop on. Awesome. Okay. Well, okay. Let me, let me on the show a couple first. times a month. So you're still going to see Rob around here. You're going to see him on our CinemaCon coverage. I'm still bringing him with us to okay. CinemaCon and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to see me pop up on Rob's observations. Oh, but okay. right now, Rob is going to pour more of his time into developing what I think is a space online that the fan community needs, which is a more fully developed Rob observations. And to give you more information about that, here's Rob. Oh, great. Well, greetings, Imagination Connoisseurs. Robert right. Meyer Burnett here, and I wanted to second the great things that John Campy was saying about where we are moving in the future. As John pointed out, I said to him, next month, 2023, April, will be eight years since we've been streaming together of course the late great john schnepp called me up and said he was doing amc heroes i'm like what's that well it's a youtube show i'm like youtube shows i mean i'd watch trailers on youtube's youtube uh, but i didn't i didn't you know it wasn't something i really paid that much attention to and then who would have thought eight years later not only have i been streaming with john campia from that first day that john schnepp brought me in but i've been streaming with john campia on and off for eight years now the better part of a decade well uh, now things have changed and I've decided that what I really want to do is focus on concentrating on building my own brand up. Of course, you know what, you know what props for, to John Campia for no props to John Campia for letting him do that because he's, you know, some might consider that like, you know, splitting the audience competition, but no, he's like props to props to Rob. He's doing his own thing and he's letting him announce this on his channel. That's great. Even though they have a good relationship. This is a good thing. I, I like the way this was presented. I was a little a little concerned at the beginning that Robert Meyer Burnett wasn't even he was gonna just talk about Robert, but no, he has him here. That's great. And uh I know some think he's controversial because of his associate guilt by association, but I true I try really hard not to do that. I don't like people that he talks to his opinions, but I don't hate those people. You know, I'm not I don't have hate in my heart anymore. So and we do know that he's started all kinds of new collaborations, like with Zod. He's on with Zod and Mikey Sutton. Yeah. They sound like they sound like they have a fun time. So, um, I honestly don't think he's just doing this for the money. I think he likes to just talk constantly about this stuff. Um, yeah, mainstream. Um, I don't know if that would happen, Raya, because I'm very critical of some of his friends, and I think that might have I. I'll be honest with you. I messaged him back and I never got a response, but I, I do understand also because I was very critical of some of his friends at the time. Uh, but I do, I can uh, appreciate him being on Zod show. And I recommended Zod bring on Brian one time to talk about Trek. And that would make me happy. You know, that'd make me happy. Uh, everyone loves money, including me. I love people and thing. You know, I love experiences more than money. You know, money's not everything. Uh, all right, so let's hear what he has to say. Of course, my YouTube channel is The Burr Network, and I call my audience the post-geek singularity imagination connoisseurs, the people that watch you are imagination connoisseurs, and you can be members of the post-geek singularity just by watching the channel. 
Um, you don't even have to pay a membership fee, although that would be nice too. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm still going to be involved with John Campia on a, uh, you know, a small basis. I'll stream a couple of times a month there. And John and I, of course, will we're, we're going to leave things open to do collaborations and things like that. I'll be covering, say, CinemaCon <laughs> with him. But John has graciously come on board. He's going to sponsor my channel. Uh, we've even talked about sponsoring other YouTube channels together, mm. which is really exciting. And I think what, what has been great about YouTube for me is the community at large, meeting other imagination connoisseurs from all walks of life, all interested in, well, science fiction, fantasy, and horror, movies, movie news, Brian. what have you, all <laughs> of the great things that being an imagination connoisseur brings to you. And on my own channel, I'm going to be able to sponsor other creators. We have an all Spanish show called Que Pasa PGS. I have an animation show called The Otaku Experience brought to you by King Tanic, who you might have seen around these parts here on John's channel. And of course, we're going to be doing other shows, mm. maybe a panel show, maybe a show. Of course, I've got a show coming up called Architects of Imagination about video games. I'm still doing Let's Get Physical Media every Sunday with your favorite German, my favorite German, everyone's favorite German, Dieter Bastian. We just did our 101st episode of Let's Get Physical Media. So there's a lot of cool things that I want to concentrate on on my channel that really don't fit in to what happens on the John Campia show. So John has graciously allowed, while well, he's going to sponsor the Burnett work for a few months, uh, get me sort of off and running as, as if you were, he's, mm. he's given me a little push off the cliff and hopefully my wingsuit will open and I can fly because the alternative would be bad. But anyway, I want to thank John Campia. One, I, I have loved my time streaming with John. I love the audience. I think we have an incredible audience of people. The people that John has brought on this show, Chris Carr, Taylor Gonzalez, of course, Ray and Jonathan Voico. Uh, I will miss seeing them every day, but we're going to remain friends and hopefully I'll be streaming with them too. We have to find Taylor's dad after all, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm very excited for this new chapter in my own streaming life and uh, i really can't i can't wait to get to it and i'm also very excited to go with john to cinemacon because they're probably going to show guardians we know they're going to show the flash maybe they'll show mission impossible 4 or mission impossible 4 that was this is all this is all great for him i'm i'm happy for him he's a vet he's a veteran of movie talk and he you know he's doing he's he's kept i've subscribed to his channel i don't watch a lot of his content but I want to, I'm going to try to tune in more often, you know, to see what he's up to. Um, and I, I will try to watch him on Zod stream because I know that he's, he's Zod and Mikey and it seems like they're having fun there. Uh, so that's great. Great. I don't know if we need to watch more. That sounds good, right? Yeah. That sounds absolutely. good to me. Um, and if John Campy is retiring, this is like helping a friend, you know. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that it expands. He expands his community. I do. I do want him. I would like him to be open to more voices, though. That he weren't were even critical of his friends. I'm not saying me necessarily, but I'd like to see. I'd like to see that growth as well. So nothing bad here that I see. Nothing bad. I know people were upset that Robert Meyer. But I I heard a lot that people were upset that Robert Meyer Burnett may not be showing uh you know showing up much on the John Campy show but the way they presented it there I think was a is a, a good way to present it to the audience and we'll see what that brings up I I'm hoping for the best uh Samir says the guy is kind of insidious you mean Campy or Robert I don't know what you mean Samir Robert my Burnett or Campy I don't know uh I have my criticisms of Campy as well you know I'm not a kiss ass, but he does good things too. That's all I got for tonight. I was going to try to stretch to three hours, but I'm tired. Anything else, CJH, Brian? No, I'm good, man. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The big street tomorrow. I can't be sleeping in late for that. No. You can't.